Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The fastest way to shut down Windows is to pull the plug out from the back of the computer. That's sad, but it's true. Windows takes a long time to shut down because it's trying to safely stop any services that might be running so that uh, it's a clean shutdown so that nothing's left hanging and data is left floating in the ether that is your computer system. Uh, and of course, speeding up the startup routine is not easily done either. I've been asking this question for the past uh, well, few minutes and uh, no one's got a real answer. I mean, they've pointed me to a handful of links, but none of those links are really definitive at all. And unfortunately, some of those links lead me to shareware utilities that really don't do anything. I mean, seriously. I mean, I know you're sending me this link here, and it's likely linking off to a program that'll cost you $30 to make you feel like you're getting a faster startup or shutdown, but I don't think it's worth buying. None of the software that will allegedly speed up your startup or shutdown. Oh, it's open source? Oh, no, this I gotta check out. Speedy Vista is open source? Hang on. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna pull it up here. We'll, we'll pull it up live. Uh, Windows Vista has around 100. Oh, I see what this is. So, speedyvista.com, something that was just recommended here, um, looks like a tweaking tool. Uh, which, you know, can be used so long as you've got a modicum of experience. What you have to be careful about with these tweaking tools is that you have, when you change a setting, you could be changing a default and that could throw the rest of your system off. Um, I've used tweaking tools pretty much since, <laughs> since the dawn of computing uh, and have, for the most part, you know, been relatively, you know, stable after applying certain tweaks but in all my years of tweaking I don't think I ever gained as much performance as I had just like leaving things be um, so well speedy Vista may work for you it looks like it may be overkill but in in one of these tabs here on the, the website it's got a handful of Windows services and it looks like this uh, chart was copied blatantly from Black Viper um, and Black Viper is the definitive resource on uh, which services you can safely shut down or not use uh, in Windows. Now, Windows services, they're programs that are running in the background, uh, and you know, killing a service is not always the smartest thing to do because, I, as I learned way back in the days of Windows 2000, shutting down the wrong service uh, can effectively make you uh, have to reinstall Windows, and that's not a good thing. However, these charts have been put together telling you that uh, yes you can't it's safe to shut down this service it's safe to shut down that service it's safe to shut down this other service but that isn't always the case and of course before you go playing and tweaking with any system run some kind of uh, backup utility the question was asked specifically uh, by the way uh, the video and I guess I, I owe it to him to, to play it back at least so at least hey. you can hear it hi Chris my question is is there any way to make Windows Vista start up and shut down a little bit quicker. Right now it takes about three minutes to shut down and it takes a couple minutes to start up. I mean, other than that, everything else is, works really good. I mean, I try to make sure I shut down all my programs before I um, shut down the computer. But maybe you know something that'll speed it up a little bit. Thanks. I don't think you're going to find your Windows is going to start up or shut down any quicker by turning off services or turning on other services. There are all sorts of tricks that allegedly work and software that allegedly works, but you know, I've got a fast system and no matter what I do, startup and shutdown seem to be as slow as sin, specifically on Windows Vista, even though they supposedly made it faster. Maybe Service Pack 1 uh, will make things faster. I'm not going to hold my breath. It's just the way Windows works. It's the uh, nature of the beast. And while you may say you've got the perfect tweak, it's going to be different for everybody. Oh, someone recommends a boot defragment. That might help, but a lot of these tweaks are just incremental. Like they may save you like a second or two, but certainly like not minutes. You're not going to shave 
two minutes off your startup or shutdown time if it takes you that long to start up and shut down. You know, if, especially if you have a faster computer, any kind of gains are going to be negligible. Uh, one of the things that you might do, I mean, beyond looking at what services to shut down, and I'm not going to go into that right now because it is a little, um, it is for definitely for the advanced users. If you launch the MS Config tool, um, and that's you go to the Run command line in your Start menu and type in MS Config. Uh, and then in in there, you can go to the startup tab and remove check marks from all the programs that you don't think need to be running. Um, overclocking Zedlos, I don't know if that's the solution either. Um, there, see, the, it's it's a complicated problem that we're throwing a, a, a handful of solutions at, but it's not worth messing with. Honestly, you're going to spend all your time tweaking to maybe get and save five seconds maybe there's no guarantee and you may mess up your system in the process is it really worth it and understand this is coming from a consummate tweaker a power user it's just not I mean unless it's something like oh yeah brain dead yeah you've, you've got to do this uh, I, I say just you know kinda let go and just assume that it's this is the way this is just the way it's going to be uh, of course you know there are people are making plenty of suggestions if you have a, a suggestion that hasn't been brought up in chat or uh, reduce the wait to kill service timeout that's uh, it's a good suggestion but again you know changing these system se settings can cause problems more than it could uh, help and so that's why I'm very cautious about uh, you know recommending y using these things now people this is good they're they're recommending things so even though I've, I'm taking a contrarian position people are saying they've tried different things speeding things up but as I said I don't think it's going to give you much performance uh, increase by by doing any of these things I realize I'm crazy for saying that but you know I these systems the in anymore uh, people are less worried about the resources that are being taken up uh, because the, they come with you know two or more gigabytes of RAM, a fast processor. Uh, you can go and shut down services you don't need from lists or shut down uh, items that you don't need. That's fine, but uh, reinstall and reformat every weekend. That's one solution, not one I would necessarily take. It's not just Microsoft. I mean, it's it, the well. I've seen Linux start up and shut down just as slow, if not slower, than Windows. So don't even don't even try to tell me that it's just a Microsoft thing. It's just the nature of these large operating systems that are trying to do a lot. And uh, you, you, I guess it's just kind of you kind of have to deal with it, um, or take the suggestions that these people are 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 stating. Unfortunately, I don't have the the right tweak, and I'm not going to recommend software that's going to cost you money because I think that would be a waste of money. I don't know. Like I said, what do you think? Uh, is it worth doing? Uh, what do you, you do? What do you do to, uh, I kind of tripped over my words there, I'm not drinking enough water, uh, to speed up the shutdown or startup processes of Windows? Interested in hearing it, leave a comment or uh, just swing by the chat room. We're always talking about this stuff, debating about it. Hours and hours of our lives are spent on how to save two seconds from startup or shutdown. Live.perillo.com.